Hey everyone, we're back again for another week update. Just kind of give you guys a quick little insight about how our week, how our life is going. Um, we have not been very good at filming this last week. Mostly it's my fault because I have not been doing very good, like emotionally and physically. Um, I started another round of lectures all last Sunday and lectures all is always hard on me. Um, and you know, we said in the very beginning that we are going to be completely open with you guys about our journey. And I have been fighting depression really bad this last week. And it's not just the baby stuff that's going on. Um, I have a family member who is very sick and who has been in and out of the hospital. So we've been worried about them and their well-being and what the next steps are going to be there as well as the regular like day-to-day -day stuff that just kind of gets monotonous after a little while just waking up and going to work and then coming home. It's been really rough on me this week. So I haven't been filming very much just because I just haven't felt like doing much of anything. Just kind of awful. You know, we try to keep distracted and... We were talking the other day and it's the waiting periods that are the hardest because, you know, you do the IUI and then you have to wait two weeks to know the results and then you have to wait another two weeks to ovulate again and do the other IUI. And this whole process is just a waiting game. And honestly, I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> like when it comes to waiting, I just want everything to be done here and now. So this has been a real challenge for me, especially. We almost wish that we could just, you know, if we do get that negative pregnancy test, we can just go back and start all over again. It's like, okay, yeah. let's do it. Just like the next day, just go to the clinic again and, and just, get another IUI. Which it's, that's <laughs> not, unfortunate. unfortunately, that is not how it works. No. And we're just kind of in a limbo of, all right, this didn't work this time. We gotta wait till next time. And it's just, it's very difficult. I can say to myself as well, I'm impatient. It's tough, that waiting period. Cause like, I really just want to have another go at it. Yes. Because we really want to have a baby. Yes. Another conversation we've had to have this week is whether or not we're going to keep trying and how long. Um, I have very painful periods to the point that I can't like function at work or stand up or sit down or lay down without being in a great deal of pain. And so the longer that we try and the longer I go without being on birth control or something to try to combat that, the more painful they get and the harder it is to go to work and try to function there. So we've had to discuss, you know, what we're gonna do and how many more rounds we're gonna try before we take a break. And we still have not reached that answer, mostly because every time we say, okay, we're gonna try three more rounds and then we'll take a break if they don't work, both of us feel deep down that that's not what we're supposed to do and that's not what our Heavenly Father has in plan for us. The other factor that goes into it is the cost. These IUIs are very expensive. I mean, we're dropping anywhere from 500, it's about 500. $500 every single time. Well, well we've only done it once, mm. but, but for the, for the future. future I'm planning. And you know, there's other medical expenses and situations that have to do in our lives that unfortunately insurance doesn't help as much as we would like to. So we had kind of have to stop and decide, Hey, can we, put this money somewhere else where it needs to be more urgently used. Yeah. And that's another thing to consider. And overall, we do want to have a baby. And 
we want to try everything until we can't do anything anymore. But at the same time, there's other factors in our lives that we need to take care of because how can we expect to take care of a baby if we're not 100% healthy ourselves either? Yeah. And that's just another factor to talk about. And We are very blessed, though, because um, we had a friend of ours that sells LuLaRoe who has agreed to do a fundraiser for us to help us with the cost of these IUIs. So that's gonna be coming up in August and we're pretty excited yeah. for that. Like, we are very blessed and very excited, so. We're very excited about that fundraiser in August and more details when that comes closer. Yes. And another thing that we're preparing for is in about three and a half weeks, Juan and I are gonna be sealed in the temple. We are very excited for that. For those of you who don't know a lot about the LDS faith, um, it's a very important day for us in which we'll be sealed for time and all eternity. It As basically solidifies our marriage in this life here on earth and then we believe um, after we die, we live on for eternity and it solidifies our marriage into that eternal lifespan as well as um, seals any of our kids to us so that in the next life our kids will still be our kids. So it's very important for us. We're very excited. I'm yes. very excited. It'll be my first time going through the temple. And it's going to be great. It's just another two weeks to look forward it's to. It's not two weeks. He keeps saying two weeks, hoping that it'll come true. In about a week and a half, it'll be it'll two It'll be weeks. two weeks and I'll finally be right. <laughs> so there's a lot going on and a lot to go to look forward to. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, a lot of waiting time. As of right now, our next... We have an ultrasound on Wednesday that I will just be going to. This could be my first solo ultra ultrasound. We just have to start making decisions on what time off of work to take. Um, yeah. Just because we can't take all of the time. So. And I'm not super fond about it being her first solo ultrasound. But hopefully it's her last yes. solo ultrasound. Because uh, we're going to get pregnant. Because we're going to get pregnant this time. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the ultrasound on Wednesday. And then they will tell me when to do the trigger shot. And then whenever I trigger shot, we go in two days later for the insemination. And then we have a two-week waiting period to know if it worked. And then we know how, what to do. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully Friday or Saturday, that'll be the insemination, the IUI. Saturday um, or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Yes. Uh, last time, I don't know if you guys paid attention to our videos, I was able to pinpoint the exact day we had to go in and that was amazing. Uh, I'm not going to try to do that this time because... Really? <laughs> I think we should. You have to, all right, I I'm say... Gonna do it. You're going to do it? Okay, no. what do you think? I think we should both do it. So I think... Saturday. Saturday. Call Saturday. No, I was going to say Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, they can't both call Saturday. Okay, I'm taking Saturday. <laughs> well, then that leaves me with uh, Sunday, and I don't know. All right, you know what? I think Saturday. No. You should say Friday, because you were right last time, and that would be a day sooner. <laughs> but we don't care. I really want Saturday. Okay. Too late. I already chose it. Okay, I think it'll happen on Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think Saturday. He thinks Sunday. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And maybe we can have a fun little contest. Yeah. To see who's right. <laughs> maybe we should even include appointment times. I'm going to say Saturday at 8 a.m. is going to be your first appointment. See, that's what I thought. Come on. Too late. You're taking it straight from me. How about I just agree with you and then... No, you, know. you have to choose All right, one. Sunday... No. Yeah, Sunday first thing in the morning as well. Cause it makes Sunday more sense. Sunday 8 a.m.? Yeah, Sunday 8 a.m. All right. So those are our guesses. Let us know what your guys' guesses are in the comments down below. <laughs> and we'll see who's the closest. And I think the only time I was right last time is... Because Keeley's been pretty on schedule with her menstrual cycle and stuff like yeah it's been... since i started the lectures all it's been like very pinpoint yeah. to the day every single cycle which has never happened for me 
like not even on birth control. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. <laughs> so I have a feeling I'm going to be wrong since she took Saturday from me. But on the off chance I'm right, and you know, what, July has 30 days, and we had 31, 31. last time, 31 days, yeah. June has 30, July June. has 31. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens next month, or this next couple of days. So we're really excited for Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Saturday. I think throughout this journey, just the most important thing is just to maintain a positive attitude and try to be as optimistic as you can because this is a really hard thing and it can really get you down if you let it. So for us, the key is just to have maintained a positive attitude about everything in one thing that we do every single time we start a new cycle is we go get something for the baby that we're going to have one day. Um, and it can really be anything. Like we've gotten anywhere from a crib mattress, or not the mattress, the sheet, the crib mattress sheet, to a swaddling blanket to an outfit even just like a little toy for a baby and it just helps instill hope in us that we are gonna have a little baby that will get to use these one day and every single time we get a negative pregnancy test we go do something as a couple that you know helps us become closer together and reminds us that we're still a family even if we don't have any kids we're still a family mm -hmm. and we're not any less of a family than someone who does have kids. Exactly. Yeah. So we really appreciate you guys following our journey with us and just encouraging us to keep going. And it's been a lot of fun being able to interact with everybody. And I love the comments. I love just all the feedback we get, it's a lot of fun. Our new subscribers that we get, it seems every time we check the channel, yeah. we have a new subscriber, which is amazing. It's fun. Because at the base of this, we're doing it mostly for ourselves and for our future children and our family, but it means a whole lot more to have complete strangers yeah. support us through this journey. It really does mean a lot. And I personally always have the mindset when I go through something hard that if I can use this experience to help just one person go through something similar, then every single one of my struggles will be worth it if I can help make it easier for someone else or just make it so someone else can relate to what I'm going through. So that's helped me a lot. So you guys are awesome and we really appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. And we will see you guys next week when we do the update with the ultrasound and when our IUI will be Yeah. on Saturday. Sunday, 8 a.m. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think down below. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Guys. Bye.